Hey y'all, what's up? What's goody? What's poppin'? It is your girl Ray, and it's Tuesday, Tuesday, December 13th, and time is definitely moving. We got a lot of stuff going on. It's literally 12 days before Christmas, which I think is just wild as hell as well. Um, it's moving. This year has definitely been moving very quickly. I don't know how I feel about that. Now, part of me actually feels like, okay, there's been so much stuff going on this year that I actually am ready and welcoming 2023 to come, which is really going to be here in a blink of an eye, right? But then the other part of me is like, okay, slow down because the time is moving really way too fast. I feel like it was just the summer. I feel like we kind of skipped over fall. We went straight to winter and now we're ba basically at Christmas and it's just crazy 12 days away. Um, how have you guys been doing? How's everything been going? You know, like Christmas, like I said, is right around the corner. So do you guys think that you're prepared and have everything that you want? Have you started Christmas shopping? Are you finishing your Christmas shopping? Have you finished your Christmas shopping? You know, for me, I am not really like into the holidays and stuff like that. And so I don't go all out like I used to back in the day. Back in the day, I used to go all out and break the bank and spend all the money and get all the newest things, stand in line. It actually used to be a thing now that I think about it. I have a friend in Seattle. Her name was Nicole. And every year, we would feed the homeless. We would drop our kids off after we fed the homeless. And then we would go to Walmart and to the mall, to Target, and all those other stores once they open later up um, on Thanksgiving Day stop at Starbucks first, get some coffee, and then stand in the line for the TVs, the video games, and whatever kind of new gadgets you know was going to be coming out. And that used to be fun. We would be so tired because we usually wouldn't get back to the house until later. We would go to all kind of different malls, all kind of stuff. But I don't really do that stuff as much anymore. You know, as far as Christmas shopping and holiday shopping and things like that, I've pretty much done my stuff earlier already. I've already gotten that stuff out the way. Once your kids get older, they just want clothes and money and stuff like that. So the things that I am going to buy, I've already gotten and then we'll kind of just move along. But I don't really do like the Christmas tree or all the decorations and you know, all the holiday parties, which I probably should because I do know that in 2023, I definitely need to do more to get out and be social. It's not hard for me. I'm just fucking tired. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm so busy on a regular basis that it's like, you know, it's good if you do and it's good if you don't. I feel like I want to get out and do more and be social. But then I feel like if I do that, then I'm not really going to get enough sleep. But then on the moments where I do do it and then I don't get enough sleep, I wish that I would have gotten some sleep. So it's just like, damn, I can't I can't seem to figure out what I need to do or find a good balance. But I definitely want to find a better balance of that um, in 2023. I was reading something about the Aquarius and the horoscope for 2022, and it was saying that basically what we need to do is um, stop scrolling as much and start living life a little bit more. And that kind of spoke to me a little bit, not necessarily because I believe in astrology, but just because I, one, try to pull positivity from anywhere that I can get it. So I'll read those things and take what I can. But also because, like I said, I do want to be very intentional about being social and being out a little bit more. Now, my jam is going out to eat, getting dressed up, having some drinks and having a good time. And for me, that's enough. And I also like to travel, but I'm not really, you know, big on anything else. And so if I'm not like going to brunch or going out to dinner or something like that, I'm literally at home, at Target and at the gym. Like that's, that's pretty much what I do. So I need to do better at that. Um, I was also working on and have been working on this week my 2023 goals and you know sometimes I'm a little um hesitant about the things that I want to do because I think like am I thinking too much am I do I want to do too much do I want too much and then there's other aspects of my life where I'm like no Ray like everything that you want is valid you want it for a reason it's something that's on your mind and on your heart do what you need to do to go after it and so that is kind of what I'm taking from that and I think that there's little hints along the way that give me encouragement to let me know I'm on the right path or to keep moving forward or there's just things that I can't get off my heart or mind like number one moving out of Atlanta I've been in Atlanta for six years six and a half years it'll be seven years next year in may and it's been cool it's been an experience but i've only lived my life 
in Washington State and in Georgia. So I don't really have a lot to go off of. But I literally picked up everything that I had, sold what I felt like I didn't need it or could like start all over again. And then I moved to Atlanta. And Atlanta has been cool, but I thought that my experience was going to be a little bit different than what it's been. It hasn't been horrible by any means, but I feel like I want more and something a little bit different. And I'm just not sure that Atlanta can provide that for me. And so one of my goals definitely is to secure moving away from here because really after the move from Georgia or from Seattle to Georgia I honestly feel like I can pick up and move to Africa at this point and it wouldn't be a problem so I'm just trying to set some things up to get that done but anyway I'm saying all that to say that um, I've just been working on my goals and just working to make sure that everything that I want to secure I am able to secure and to just do it life is very short um, and I think that it's very important to make the best out of things when things are on your heart and your mind, make sure that you do what you can do to move forward and take the little steps. Don't try to take big steps all the time. Do what you need to do to take the little steps, to take the initiative, to do what's needed to live the life that you want. And I think that there's been glimpses and moments and times where I have definitely lived a life where I enjoyed every moment of everything that was going on in my life. What I want to do, what I'm trying to do is figure out a way to do that more intentionally and consistently. Um, <laughs> you know, for me personally, I want to say during the pandemic, probably more so the second year. So that would be what, 2021? 2021? Yeah, 2021. 2021 was definitely great for me because... I'm sorry, that's my oven. But 2021 was definitely great for me because I felt like I just lived and explored a little bit more. You know, we weren't in the office working every single day, which was a level of freedom that I hadn't really experienced in a while. We had the opportunity to travel and just to explore for damn near a dollar. I mean, you can stay in luxury four or five star hotels and it was very cheap to have your accommodations. It was very cheap to fly. You can fly first class, you can fly comfort and straight flights and the flights are very inexpensive. And I was doing that on a regular basis in 2021. And so in 2022, I was like, dang, I definitely need to do that a lot more. And I've done it, not as regularly as I had hoped, but I know that it's possible. And so that's definitely what I'm trying to take into 2023 is just living. You understand? Like we're all responsible, handling business, taking care of our bills. And so as long as we're doing what needs to be done, I don't think that it's a problem to do other things that you want to do and just really live. People are really making it happen. And so my prayer is just to being able to find a way to be able to make it happen. Lord, I have rambled today. Um, my week, I guess we can talk about my work week. My work week last week was cool. Um, hopefully you guys had a good week. Definitely better than it was the last time that I made a vlog. Definitely better. Probably a little stressful. But I think, again, it's probably the end of the year and the holiday. People was definitely getting on my nerves, but not as bad as, you know, um, the week prior. And I'm actually going to be taking some time off um, for the holidays, for the Christmas and New Year holiday. I'm not doing anything super fantastic unless the Lord wants to bless me real quick with something unexpected. But I'll have some time off nonetheless to just reset and to relax and hopefully bring in the new year good. But let me know what's up with y'all. Let me know how things are going. Um, I just wanted to kind of pop in and say hi. I don't really have a lot going on. I didn't do too much over the weekend except for go to the gym, clean the house, wash my hair. And, you know, like the regular maintenance stuff that you have to do on a regular basis so that you can prepare for the next work week. Right. So it wasn't anything crazy fun uh but it was relaxing nonetheless and it was needed so i'm looking forward to see kind of what might happen these next upcoming weekends especially since i won't be working but let me know how you guys are doing i really hope and pray that everything is going well if you haven't take some time to write out your goals usually i'm a thinker or i put things in my phone or put things and mark them on a calendar instead of tickler on my calendar but i've been very much more intentional about writing down my goals um and writing them down on paper write them down on sticky notes write them down in a booklet and i'll show you guys something really quickly so 
um, before, like I said, I would put things in like my phone in the notes or I would have things in my mind or I might put like a tickler in my calendar with like some special little notes or whatever, something that I thought to mind, but pretty much it was all like electronic, not really writing anything down. I must have been talking to somebody about something or was determined to do something. I don't know what it was. This happened when I moved to Georgia too, though. I wrote it down. I usually don't write stuff down. So this particular year so this would have been 2020 had to have been 2020 it was either 2020 or early 2021 yeah i had wrote down on this sticky note in my office at work how much money i wanted to make in 2023 or excuse me 2022 what i wanted the bonus to be i, I wrote down that i wanted to have flexibility um in my work schedule and i wrote down something else Maybe it was like room to grow or something like that. But I know for sure there's specific dollar amount, specific bonus amount, um, flexibility in the work schedule and something else. Lord, I wish, I wish um, I could remember what it was. Anyway, I literally wrote that down in the sticky note and I have put the sticky note underneath my, um, my keyboard at work. So lo and behold, I get this job where I'm currently working and I literally got this job at the end of the year to start January 4th, 2022. And so when I was cleaning out my office and I had been in my company for like four years almost, I found that sticky note, faded and everything. I could see exactly what I wrote. The dollar amount, swear to you, that I put on that sticky note is the same exact dollar amount that I'm making. The bonus, yes. The flexibility to be able to work from home. Now I'm not working home. Um, I'm not working from home every day, but I have flexibility in my weekly schedule to be able to work part time in the office and part time from home, or from a beach um, in Miami, drinking a mai tai in the sand. You know what I mean? I have that flexibility, and there's definitely opportunity to grow because the the company that I work with is a global company. So not only can I move from state to state, but I can live in another country and work from there as well. So I do believe in just preparing, praying, manifesting, being positive, just open to receiving those things. So if nothing else, before I leave, um, if you guys don't take the time to really like take notes or write down your goals or whatever, take the time to write them down. I'm telling you this same thing happened when I got ready to move here to Atlanta and I don't normally take notes. And as I was cleaning up, I put down, or I wrote down in the notebook um, the goals that I had had for that year. And one of them was moving to Atlanta, but literally out of like maybe the 10 or 12 goals that I had, I probably had literally checked off 10 effortlessly, not even really paying attention to what I was doing. It just happened and it was so smooth. So because of that, and then this happening with this job, I've just been more intentional on making sure that I do write it down. It doesn't have to be anything super formal. My handwriting is shitty, so it's not even anything, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but it's legible and you can see what I'm saying and it's to the point and it's very detailed and direct. Um, even if it's very short and sweet, it's concise. And, you know, just trying to do what I can do and just be mindful of those things and reflect on those things from time to time to see what goals you missed, what goals you might need to revise, what goals you've already hit because you'll be surprised how far you've come because time constantly moves and you don't necessarily take the time to really reflect on, you know, everything that you're doing, which is also another reason why I take pictures. But we'll talk about that, you know, at a later time. But I was thinking about this over the weekend in the gym. I was like, you know, it is so important to take pictures and progress pictures, capture pictures and memories of what you're doing, even if it's the simple things, because you're able to really reflect back on a time and see how things once were, what you once looked like, what you thought, you know, you were, what goal you were trying to hit. And sometimes just being able to look back at those pictures and reflect like, damn, I did that. Damn, this did happen. Damn, I do have that memory. It was fun. Because as much fun as we like to have, we really focus on business so much that sometimes that can overshadow some of the good moments that we've had that we missed because we're trying to go, 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 go. Anyway, girl, I could talk for forever. You heard that my oven went off, so it's time to cook something to eat for dinner. Um, so I need to do that. But I did want to just pop out and say, hey, y'all. And I really hope that everything's okay. Hopefully you feel my energy through the camera and I'm sending positive energy your way. Love your way. You know, um, just good things because 
it's needed. You can never have too much of something genuinely good. So I'll talk to you later. Let me know down below how you're doing, how those goals are working out, how's your Christmas, shopping coming along, all that kind of stuff. And um, hopefully I'll be back soon. Talk to you later.